So I did make note of another big difference between OG and remake. Okay. Um, and that's the fact that Sephiroth shows up at all. Careful now. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. In that yes, I'm so glad you mentioned that. Yes, so I definitely want to get your take on this, but I think I might have a, uh -huh. I, th I think I have like a developmental um reason why they did that. So first, I want to get your take on it. Why do you think they showed Sephiroth so early? Um, my honest answer has to do with multiverse stuff going on. <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> I like it. I'm jumping, so mm -hmm. I have this theory. Okay. Even even as a person, like a human in this world, that <laughs> we live in this uh, linear time constraint, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're stuck in linear time, but we also right. understand that there is a form of time that is outside of this linear that we are stuck in. Right. So my theory is that if we exist in this current moment but right. time is not necessarily linear we also exist outside of that and so in some ways could we hypothetically tap into the part of us that is outside of that linear time mm -hmm. frame and if so perhaps this is what is happening with Aerith seeming to kind of understand and know things in remake that she didn't necessarily know in OG with Sephiroth being able to jump in and kind of mm -hmm. affect things and do stuff that he wasn't able to do in OG. Mm -hmm. um, that perhaps this entire world, this whole remake isn't just a remake to like make it look better and advance mm -hmm. or whatever, but it's a remake of the entire timeline. Mm -hmm. With the influence of these people who have already tapped into themselves outside of the linear time frame. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yes. <gasps> yes. I don't know if you were ready for all of that, but that's where my No, head yeah, is. yeah, yeah. No, so yes, that's a that's very I think I've read something to the effect of that. Um, oh really? Yes. <laughs> some, my... No, 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 no. I like yours is yours is a fresh perspective on that, but I have heard the like the time theory before. I'm um, okay. That that one that one was a little little bit of a deeper deeper dive into, <laughs> into, into than what I was thinking. But um, I don't know if you were ready to go there just yet. But no, that's going. okay. Yeah, we, we're going. <laughs> we're going on the way. So yeah, there is um, and, and I think this too that not only. Is this a remake just because it's, hey, guess what? We wanted to remake this game 20-something years later. But as far as storyline is concerned, there is a version of Sephiroth in a separate timeline who has now interfered with the original events that happened in the OG game. And yeah. so he, he exists in two different timelines, and that is where I circle back to the Whispers and their their actual role in protecting, quote-unquote, fate, which is what something Aerith yeah. mentioned, right? So I have yeah. a feeling that Sephiroth is finally trying to um, get the outcome of the game, of the OG game that he never got, and that's the part I don't want to spoil for you because... Ooh. Ooh, yes, okay. and he still yeah. could. Here's the thing. Reminder it, chat: We are not spoiling things. <laughs> yes, we're not spoiling things. There's could there could be stuff in this next game that are completely new yeah. to the original storyline, and I have a feeling that's going to happen. But to keep us on our toes, um, so Sephiroth is in another timeline, but he is visiting this one, especially because in the lore of <laughs> FF7, that uh, the reunion is um supposed to always be at hand or something like that. Sephiroth I don't know in the anything about reunion. Sephiroth in the OG timeline, he the reunion didn't go as planned, and there were different versions of Sephiroth. If he found a way to move through time, he's going to back and trying to remake the events up mm -hmm. to a certain point, and then the timelines are going to end up crashing together. I think, and the whispers are going to be the reason that listen, with Aerith knows fate can't be changed. That's yeah. in our our current day Earth. Um, the OG timeline goes like this, and then the other one is supposed to go parallel with it, like the remake timeline. But Sephiroth has done this, 
and the whispers are going to do its best to bring it back. So yes, your theory is wonderful, and I think we, I think we agree on that point. 